Next, we find out what Simon says. You've got one life, it's not a rehearsal, and you can't put any money in the bank because there ain't no bank. As the 90s draw to a close, our retro yearnings are bringing back the best of the 80s. There's U2's Irish rock, In Excess's Aussie pop, and Depeche's brooding mode. But what about the big hair and bright colors of the glammy new wave? Well, one word, but it sounds so nice they used it twice. Duran Duran, the poster boy band of the 80s, are up to their old tricks on a brand new album. And as Liz West found out from frontman Simon Le Bon, the new wave aged well. one of the few remaining super bands of your era. There's only us and In Excess and you 2 left. That you were pop music's biggest sex symbols of the 80s. It's crazy. called Duran Mania or Duran Demonium. But it's been, well, a few years since you've had a hit and now you want to make a comeback. I think that this is perceived as a comeback. What would you do? Well, if you're Duran Duran, you return to the same formula that made you famous. Starting with the music video, something you helped invent in the first place. There's quite a little storm in a bee cup around that uh, video. Yep, they're up to their old tricks again. Duran Duran's controversial new video, Electric Barbarella, bears a striking resemblance to the 1968 Jane Fonda cult classic, which is also where they got their name. Did an earth person give them to you, a man called Duran Duran? But even after much editing, Duran Duran's 60s sexy slash 90s sexist spectacle won't be seen in Canada. We wanted something that really worked with the song and, and picks up on the humor that was in the song. You know, about a guy who falls in love with an inanimate object, which is what the, we, and we really wanted to get that across. Um, if, uh, I, think, I think we failed, actually. Why? Because, because she's too real. She doesn't look robotic enough she doesn't look she's she's too it, it, and and that's and it's actually caused some trouble for us because what's happened is people aren't seeing the video then and they're not getting to hear the record on 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 music blues and much music are feeling a bit dodgy about it too and and, and also it there's, there's there's some bad feeling as well which is which is something i'm so unused to i mean i I'm, you know we don't quite know how to deal with that <gasps> Duran Duran is notorious for producing elaborate and controversial videos since the band hit North American televisions in 1982. Like the Investing heavily in image, the scale and impact of what they put on film set new standards for the music industry. Well, when you made the video for Girls on Film, you caused a similar stir. I mean, yeah. it was politically incorrect. Yeah, it was. So you're used to that yeah. kind of um, adversity. Yeah, Part times have changed, though. Times have changed. We are living, we are living through this, through an age of, of, of political correctness that is, that is it's, it's verging on Puritanism at the moment. And, um, and I think we might have misjudged the time a little bit. But it's there. We made it. It's out. What are we going to do about it? Like noise. But as we all know, taste is the enemy of art. When you understand me, you might feel good around me now. Pick it up! There's definitely some comparisons to be drawn between the, between the atmosphere now and the, and the atmosphere when we first started, which is after punk. And it was after... Punk started off as a lot of fun. But it, it kind of got more nihilistic and it got more depressing, more serious and more socially responsible. And it got boring. And then along comes... <gasps> Glamour. You know, a bunch of guys strutting around in tight trousers and big hair and, 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 and singing songs about having fun. When you look at what grunge was, it became very, very introspective and, 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 and self obsessed, I think. You know, it was, it was all about the angst of being me, you know, and it, be, and it, and it got boring. And now people want to have fun again. Am I being boring? Please, please tell me now. At what point in your career did you realize that this image, this whole persona, had taken over? I'll tell you when we realized it. We realized it in about 1988. 
and 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 we realized that the, the Rio image had be, was so strong, so powerful, that everybody had that image of us. And no matter what we did at that time, that was how people thought of us, as a bunch of, you know, boys playing around on a yacht. That particular instance, it was very it was frustrating, more than anything else, because, you know, because it meant that we had to work so much harder to get to get people to kind of, to, to listen to what we had to say, actually. But then there's also something to be proud of in the fact that we were icons. I mean, the best that we can hope for is to be part of the wallpaper of people's lives. That's kind of what music and bands are. And to have had that opportunity and to still be part in some way is an incredible thing. What's also incredible is that Duran Duran still exists. Over the past 15 years, the lineup has continued to dwindle from the original Fab Five. In 1985, Andy Taylor and John Taylor plugged into Robert Palmer's power station, at which time remaining bandmates Simon LeBon, Nick Rhodes, and Roger Taylor temporarily recorded under the name Arcadia. In the late 80s, four of the original members bonded long enough to pop out a few hits. Less than a year later, it was official that the band had dissolved. So it came as a big surprise when a somewhat modified and much mellower Duran Duran re-emerged back onto the charts in 1993. We're never going to be a new band, but then we're sufficiently chameleon enough to be able to reinvent our sound and to keep, up, keep the thrill alive, that's the most important thing. The thrill that we get from making music and we get from giving it to other people and having them listen to us. Duran Duran's touring clubs in North America right now, but had to cancel the Toronto and Montreal dates last week because keyboardist Nick Rhodes took ill. But he's okay and the band returned.